guys, I'm Bally. I'm Mark. We're at the Smash Factory in London, Ontario. Uh, this is our fitting studio and toy shop. Uh, we do actually get some work done in here. Sometimes. Normally we just build some cool shit and smack it and then document it. Document it. We've got some uh, Q&A stuff. We haven't done this in a while. We've had some good questions come in. Also, if you do want your question asked, just comment below. Uh, feel free to talk about how good looking I am, <laughs> how cool I am, how tall I am, how much better at golf I am than Mark. There probably won't be many comments like that, but there might be. I appreciate his effort. If my mother knew how to use YouTube, she would <laughs> make 16 different accounts and yeah. just keep commenting. Yeah. Okay. That's new plan. All right, All right. Let's get to some questions. Yeah, let's get into it. So, okay. Um, so there's some good stuff here. I made some notes. I, I came prepared today. All right. Um, I like these actually. Okay. What kind of car would best describe your golf game? Wow. That's interesting. Well, Toyota Camry. Just, it's just reliable, reliable boring. Pretty. Yeah. Just has a little bit of pickup, but lasts a long time, I guess. Very boring. I mean, that's a good, that's who I want to be. If you're asking me like in my mind's eye, I'd love to be a Toyota Camry. Like just something reliable, throw it off a cliff. You know who would answer it like that? Like who would actually think and want their golf game to be that way? Don't say it. Nobody. No, come on. Well, I don't want it to be a Ferrari. I don't need it to be like All right, let me, the how would I start? World. Maybe okay, I inspire you with a question uh, that people actually want to listen to for the love of I like my answer. My golf game, I believe, would be like a 1986 Jaguar, and here's why. Okay. Sometimes it just doesn't start. <laughs> there's a lot of electrical problems, there's a lot of mechanical issues, but once in a while it is just it so, feels very so good. Yeah. fun to ride. Okay, that was very specific, and I, that's a great answer. Okay. It's a great answer. Um, God, I mean, <sighs> That's a tough one. I I, I kind of don't hate my answer. I mean, I know it's not a bad answer. I just want to talk shit to you. No, I get it. I mean, <sighs> all right, all right. Okay, next. This this is I love this question. Okay. okay. Gun to your head. Okay. And it's loaded. <laughs> okay. Ten foot putt all to right. save your life. Oh my god. Who do you want putting it, me or you? Ooh, jeez. That's a really good question. Are the consequences the same? Mm -hmm. Like you know that I'm, mm -hmm. okay. <sighs> I want to be in charge of my own destiny, but you are a great putter. It's, I think I'd be too nervous that I wouldn't be able to do it. Like I think I'd, I'd be shaken. So I would, I would rather you, the guy that's made probably more 10 footers this summer. For than, par, than, more 10 footers for par, Mike. Yeah, yeah, can we, can we make that discerning, like change in there that it's, it's for par, it's My not for birdie. My 10 footers are for par, marks are for yeah, birdie. Yeah, exactly, so then I would take myself in birdie, but for you, like for double bogey, Matt. Oh, absolutely. nobody makes a 10 footer in the dead center. <laughs> like, yeah, for, for double. double, more than me. I would, yeah, no, but I would pick you, man. You putted great this summer, and I just, I mean, I know what I know again, same thing, is like, I know how many putts I've That's missed. That's a big thing. I so, pick me too, but it's all right. I mean, it's probably okay. 60% I make it, 80% Matt makes it. Okay. This is a good one. What is your least favorite shot in golf? Least favorite shot to hit while you're playing? That's a good one. That's a good question. Uh, mine's probably not the answer that the average person is going to give. Um, mine is a hard into wind tee shot where I'm not hitting driver. And I know that sounds really stupid. So like you're hitting three wood or? Yeah, like something where I have to hit it like 240, 250, 260, and it's hard into the wind and a tight tee shot. Like you're worried about spinning it up? Absolutely, and then I hook it. So like, uh, to me, I'd rather hit a 50 yard bunker shot all day long, because even if I screw it up, it's not that big a deal. It's not that hard. But every time it's like hard into the wind, I, ha I feel like I have to turn it so much just to keep control of the golf ball, and generally that turns into a hook, and then I I'm, so, I screw it up. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. So yeah. see, and you mentioned my like the 50 yard bunker yeah, shot. I normal. hate that shot, and a lot of people hate it because yeah. you have to have so much speed, and if it goes bad, it goes real bad. When you practice that too, I mean that's not something that people do. No, right? like, most golf courses don't have that for you to practice. It's not a, no. a, a you know even no. private clubs. It's very how do you, rare. How do you that. hit it? Bad. Like I hope no one's watching and I throw it. Um, what club do you use generally? Like let's say it's yeah, like yeah. So I've 60 yards. Like 60 yards I've learned to, to, like Gareth had talked to me about you should use an eight iron. I'm like, oh, it'll just go further in the yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But generally I would say like a gap wedge, never yeah. a lob or sand wedge, gap okay. wedge, pitching wedge. Yeah, you're more comfortable But it's, with that. I just, it's like, 
Okay, I don't practice it. Hard golf shot, man. Yeah, really, really, really. I, really I tell people all the time, it's like three wood off the ground for the average, like, older male amateur First of all, golfer. very few people. Sh we should do a video on that, by the way. We should. Three wood versus five wood. Absolutely. Set it up the exact same. Let's track distance. Remind us. Yeah. And, and you guys exactly. would be amazed. Um, That's why we sell way more five woods to three woods. 100%. Yeah. Right? I mean, like people coming in looking for three woods. Absolutely. And we end up in a five wood because we prove to them that they go further. The Higher launch, more spin. The way we can modify them. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Last question because people want to watch us smack balls and do some shit. Um, this is a good one. And this is kind of a dangerous question because dangerous. we're a... We're a you know, brand agnostic, and for those of you who don't understand what that means, we are unbiased as a fitting studio. So we don't care what brand you use, we just want to find whatever's best for your game. Exactly. If you had to play only one brand, what would it be? Full bag, one brand. Ooh, that's a, I wish Mira so made drivers. Yeah, unfortunately it rules out Mira and some of the other smaller no. niche companies that do some things very, very well. Oh, that's a tough one, man, because you're right. It has to it has to be one of the big boys that does everything really well yeah. and has options for everything. Because it's like, if I love my Mira irons, but I, I don't think their driver and their putter would be I can't imagine a Mira driver is going to compete with a ping driver. I don't think so. No. So, I mean, my first my first thought, because it's probably what I have played generally most of my bag is, in my whole like playing career, is, is Titleist. Titleist, yeah. for sure, for sure. They, Titleist sets up well. You like their drivers. And, and arguably, like... They are probably over every single item. They are probably the most popular thing on a tour level, um, which I'm not quite there, but I definitely feel like I can. I, I have some sort of talents like they do. Yeah, you've got um, but yeah, I mean, it would probably tie us. The other one that, and I've thought about this because this comes up on Instagram every once in a while too. When you're like, you see those posts, and like, yeah. I'd be hard. I, I'd really test Callaway. Like I would, I would, I would really, the driver's amazing. Like the driver is ridiculous this year. And I know they're always building a new driver. And for those of you at home too, Callaway has so many options, right? That we don't really see at retail. So as like insider knowledge, inside baseball here, I would actually prefer seeing what they have to offer before I made my yeah, decision. Yeah, from a tour van aspect yeah. to, yeah. Yeah. Like, just be like, you know what? I, cause their putters are amazing. They have great putters. I would definitely play an Odyssey or two on for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're great. Their wedges are awesome. Their irons, there's tons of options and they feel so soft. So, yeah, and I mean, for irons, that's the easy part because it's a hunk of steel. They're going to make gonna my grind yeah. in it and you're going to make it work. CBs or MBs are going to feel like, yeah. exactly. So, yeah, yeah I would probably say it's between those two, but I would, I would probably give the edge of titles for now. Yeah. Um, what about you? That's it. I don't know. So, I've had, so I kind of look at it like, okay, there's great irons from every company. Cause you're picky with the irons. I'm super picky, yeah. uh, and I've had success. The most success I've had, for some reason, I can't hit Titleist drivers on the planet. I, they're very good. I just it's weird. Yeah, it's really bad it's for weird. me. I don't know why. Um, it would either be Ping or Mizuno because uh, I've Mizuno. had I've had like a lot of success. What with do you? Both. Okay, question for you. What do you base it on? What's the biggest? So like? first of all, which driver can I get on the golf course? <laughs> okay, because true. I can't play golf. I'm not good enough to play golf from the rough. No, you need to hit driver well. I need I to hit driver well. Yeah. So I've I've played very well with Mizuno drivers. I've played very well with ping drivers. Either or I could set up. Yeah. They both have great fairways. We did a video on it. Completely agree. They both have great irons. Uh, I mean, if you can't find a Mizuno iron you like, then you're stupid. Yeah, absolutely. And, they make some great stuff. Uh, and the same thing with Ping. They, they've oh. now done what a lot of companies do very well, where Ping has created products that can blend so you can have 100%. blades and then gradually bigger stuff in the, sure. in the longer irons. And I mean, yep. you know, the putter is the only thing with Mizuno. Their putter's good. It's I good. tested it's just, it enough to really know. There's not a ton of options, right? I mean, you're, yeah. you're, you're kind of typecast into like, you got to pick this, yeah, right? Yeah, but I, I, I could see it working. Yeah, they're um, beautiful. I mean, I like the finishes. Yeah. I like the, the models and stuff like that yeah, too. Yeah, if so. I was going to pick one over the other, it's tough. I, I think Ping edges them out uh, yeah. because there's just so many more options. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you can't Because that's on. the hard thing. I think like when you come into a fitting studio like this, like, you look at every brand because obviously you're not looking to fill 14 clubs with one manufacturer, yeah. one driver, one three wood might be so much better. And I get that question from people all the time. It's like, well, well, well you're not fitting me for ping. I got fit into ping irons and I go, yeah, I know that's the point, right? I mean, it's, it's hard to find one yeah. company that you would, you would actually like wholeheartedly believe that is going to be the best products for you. And that's why you see it on tour, right? I mean, guys on tour don't play 14 clubs unless they're given a lot of money to. And a lot of them have one club that they won't change, yeah. and that's how their deals work because manufacturers understand that, hey, maybe we're not going to make every single thing that this guy just falls in love with and plays his best golf with. But, so. And keep that in mind, right? This is a tour, tour uh, 
presence yeah, where they exactly. can have whatever they want built exactly. and they still will not use yeah. only one brand. You see so many guys so, with bulky wedges, yeah. right? But I like, mean, if that's the case, then what are the odds of somebody from a retail <laughs> perspective? Zero. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, I mean, it, it happens. You shouldn't really get married to it a happens brand. one in a hundred times, honestly. Like, yeah. and, and, and admittedly, like it does happen where maybe someone's like, innate bias is sort of like driving them to hit their ping three wood better um, than they would a, a Callaway yeah. or a version like that. But it just, it's rare, right? I mean, the, the fact that one manufacturer makes something that you're going to love in every single department, it's just not going to happen very often. So Okay. Um, that's plenty of talk. I think we've given you enough content. So why don't we get to hitting some balls and... Uh well, thanks again for watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe. It really does help us. Comment, like we said, too. Ask us some questions, and maybe you'll be included in our next video. Thanks, guys.